Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I have for you today is a neat new quadcopter. This is the Hobson X4 H107C Plus model. Now the Plus model stands, well the C stands that this is a camera bird, of course. There's the SD card and there's the camera, a uh, 2 megapixel camera. But the Plus means this quadcopter has altitude hold control. Um, I had predicted that, uh, yeah, there will be more and more, we'll be seeing more and more quadcopters coming out with altitude hold, and this is one of them, the H107C+. Plus. There is also a D Plus model, which has FPV. Um, I also have that for free review. I'll be doing that here shortly in the near future. But this one here, again, is the camera version, the more less, an exp or less expensive camera version um, than the FPV version. Um, the altitude hold makes flying this relatively simple. Um, it, you don't have to mess around with the throttle. You can set a point in an altitude by giving it a little throttle, bring it up to the height that you want, and then just let go of the throttle stick and it will automatically maintain that altitude throughout the flight. This makes flying very easy. Um, this helps stabilize the video too. Um, that's, this is very good for both FPV flying and for uh, camera flying. Now, as for sport flying, uh, that's another matter, okay, because uh, the throttle control tends to be somewhat sluggish, so you, you know, less responsive uh, because of that altitude hold feature. Uh, so for sport flying, I don't think it'll be as well um, a feature to have um, if you're into sport flying. I'll try to demonstrate that. This does is able to do flips, and I'll try to do a little bit of sport flying, but uh, other than that, it's mainly a camera bird. Uh, let's go over the bird first. Off. As you can see, it's a micro quad. It includes a camera on the front, a SD card port on the back. This quadcopter did not come with an SD card. You have to provide your own, unfortunately, and along with a card reader. It did not come with a card reader. Um, so that's that's a big uh, unfortunate. <laughs> this is the on-off switch that you press here. You hold it down for a few seconds, and that uh, starts the quadcopter. Um, if you press it rapidly, or a quick press after it's started, that will activate the video camera. You could also activate the video camera remotely using the controller. And to shut off the quadcopter, you hold it down for another two seconds to shut it off. The battery for this thing is somewhat proprietary it is proprietary <laughs> it's a 3.7 volt 520 uh, milliamp hour battery um, that is made specifically for this quadcopter so if you want replacement batteries you're going to need to buy them from hubson <laughs> unfortunately it has a charging port for charging that battery which is right there you use a usb or a micro usb uh, um, cable the same as you use with, with your samsung phones Samsung style phones. Um, other than that, it has nice night lighting. I'll try to get off a uh, night uh, flight tonight. Um, here's the lights on the uh, quadcopter itself. When you are actually recording with the quadcopter's uh, camera, uh, these backlights start flashing. So you know right away uh, that the camera is recording. That is a cool feature. You know, usually I have a hard time uh, determining whether that camera is recording or whether I stopped the camera. And it's important, of course, to stop the video after you land before turning off the quadcopter or else you'll lose that video. So if these lights are still flashing, you'll, you'll have a good um, signal to, the, to let yourself know that you need to turn off the camera before turning off the quadcopter. Okay, that's the quadcopter itself. This is the controller, Hobson style controller. Um, the button up here is for activating pictures. This shoulder button up here is for activating the camera, turning it on and off. It does have headless mode, which you activate by pressing down uh, on this stick. A rapid press of the stick will enter headless mode, and it does flip. If you want to do activate the flips, you have to hold down the throttle stick for two seconds, and then you let go and can activate the flip by uh, pr pressing the pitch roll stick. You can change the different rates of the quadcopter by pressing the right stick. You know, beginner, intermediate, expert. And to start the quadcopter, if you notice this throttle stick is centered, because this is an altitude hold uh, quadcopter, but to start the quadcopter and bring it to idle, you press down both sticks and pull them outward like so, and that will uh, start the quadcopter, and to stop it after landing, you do the same. Let's go for a flight now. Uh, I do have a slight breeze today coming from that direction there, about five to seven knots. It, it varies a little bit. I will um, point the quadcopter into that direction with the main idea being I want to demonstrate headless mode first on this quadcopter. So let's turn it on. Turning on the quadcopter. 
Okay, I have lights. Placing it on a relatively flat and level surface, pointing in that direction. Turning on the transmitter. And there we go into idle. Let me show, demonstrate that again. Shut off the, the quadcopter by doing that. By turning, now let's turn on the quadcopter, put it to idle by pulling down and out. Okay, that's our headless mode direction. We're going to go out in that direction first off. Let's get into the air. And see, it sets its, that altitude. And I'm going to go slowly off in that direction. And then press that one key return, or headless mode button. And it does that one key return, but it's also in headless mode at the same time. So all I need to do is push in that direction. And again, I'm in headless mode. Okay, let me bring it back down. We're going to land it now. Let me verify that that actually was a one key return. I can't tell because of the wind. <laughs> but let's land it. I want to demonstrate the camera right now. Oh, I still have battery power. I don't want to lose my battery power. Important thing of this quadcopter is its camera feature. You're going to see rabbit turds here for a second. <laughs> let's start, turn on the, the camera. Camera's recording. I don't know if you can see that little flashing light there on the back air, but the camera's recording. Going back into the air again, starting the quadcopter. And let's de just demonstrate its camera right now. We'll take it up uh, over to the lights. Send it up about that altitude there, and it's holding that altitude, folks. I'm going to go to a little higher rate because of this wind. Well, that's, that's headless mode again. No, that's beginner and expert. So it has you know two rates, beginner and expert. Now I want to fly it around, demonstrate its camera while recording. Let's take it up about the same altitude as the lights. And fly over the lights. <laughs> so, I'm videotaping this whole flight. Altitude hold is a really cool feature, folks. It's coming out in more and more quadcopters. Okay, that should be good enough for its camera. I'm going to take it up one one time, let it, and bring down the altitude a bit, and let it. I'm pulling down on the stick on the altitude stick, and this is the uh, wind blowing it back toward me. And again, I want to land it now. And the next thing I want to demonstrate is its. Uh, let's land it and shut off the throttle, or shut off the motor by moving the throttle stick. Okay, and I want to stop the video. It's still recording, stopping the video. Now let's demonstrate its flipping ability. Again, the flip button is this one, or the flip button is this one here. You have to hold it down. So, going back into the air, and holding down the left stick, and telling it to flip. Okay, this is expert right kind of flip going forward. I'm in headless mode. <laughs> okay, holding down the stick. Let's try the flip again. Left flip. Okay, again, this is not a sporty quadcopter. It's not meant to be. I'm trying to do funnels with it with altitude hold on. <laughs> and you can't turn off the altitude hold, unfortunately. Um, again, it's mainly to hold the altitude of the quadcopter. Man, it does that very well, folks. You can more or less fly just with the pitch roll stick alone.
You don't have to worry about the throttle. And that's the advantage of altitude hold. Um, this comes in real handy if you're doing FPV flying. Say, you, know, um, you don't have, you know, let's bring it down a little lower, right about there. If you're flying FPV, you don't have to worry about uh, smacking into the ground. The quadcopter will adjust its position, adjust its altitude accordingly. So all you worry about is the pitch roll stick. Let's go into headless mode. Yeah, I guess it doesn't have one key return. <laughs> I was wrong about that. Pushing forward, pulling back. I'm just putting some uh, yaw on this to show that this does have headless mode. And one more video. Video in headless mode. Let's see if I can do some panning of myself. Actually, a nice little quadcopter. If you got, want a little micro quadcopter, this one's a good one. I don't think I'm in headless mode. Oh, yeah, I'm still in headless mode. Nice little quadcopter. Pulling it down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to fly at this altitude, just above the grass. And I'm in headless mode. That's how I'm able to pan like this, folks. <laughs> Headless mode comes in handy if you want to do panning, is what I'm trying to say. You can fly in any one direction and point the, the quadcopter in any one direction like I'm doing right now. And if you're wondering why I'm shorts in shorts in the middle of December, or at the end of December, almost January, I was out uh, exercising with the wife and dog. We do that every morning and fly early in the morning when the wind is low, like it is right now. Okay, that's the, the reason why you want to use headless mode. As you can see, it works relatively well. One stick flying, folks. Taking the vid, turning the video off. Did that actually turn the video off? Let's bring it in. How's the backlight? Yeah, the backlights are off. And that's what happens when the battery dies. <laughs> I was hoping that that thing would uh, slowly descend, but uh, obviously it does not. When the battery goes, it goes. <laughs> it drops. Okay, video is stopped. So, that's the first review of the Hubson. H107C Plus. Uh, unfortunately, uh, well, I did like it. Um, the only thing I didn't like is I was hoping that when the battery would die that it would gradually descend, but obviously uh, it does a drop, so keep you're, you will need to uh, time your flights and uh, pay attention to the lights uh, to prevent uh, damage to your quadcopter. Um, overall, it's a relatively good flyer. Um, it's not sporty. It's not meant to be. It's mainly a camera quadcopter, and that's what it's intended for. Uh, other than that, um, this is, again, one of the first quadcopters to come out. This is the first one I've seen that's not an FPV flyer that actually has altitude hold, which is pretty impressive. I like altitude hold. I wish... I, I got a feeling all of 2016 we're going to see a lot of altitude hold quadcopters coming out. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick review. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.